animals live in so many different places. We call that their habitat. Can you unlock our adventure today by clapping the syllables in our word? Here we go. Habitat. Wow, there are three syllables inside the word habitat. H-A-B-I-T-A-T. -A -A we all live in a habitat. Food, water, shelter, space. Food, water, shelter, space. Food, water, shelter, space. We all live in a habitat. All animals need food, water, shelter to keep them safe, and space. That's what makes a habitat. listen for some sounds inside of words. Remember, the sounds that we hear are called phonemes. Listen, listen to my word. Tell me all the sounds you heard. Yes. Y is one sound. E is two. S is the third. It's true. Listen, listen to my word. Tell me all the sounds you heard. E S. Yes. Thumbs up. Listen, listen to my word. Tell me all the sounds you heard. Zap. Z is one sound. A is two. P is the third. Sound, it's true. Listen, listen to my word. Tell me all the sounds you heard. Z, A, P, Zap. Listen, listen to my word. Tell me all the sounds you heard. Zam. Z is one sound, a is two, m is the third, sound it's true. Listen, listen to my word, tell me all the sounds you heard. Z, a, m, zam. Let's do one more word. Listen, listen to my word, tell me all the sounds you heard. Yoke. Ye is one sound, o is two, k is the third, sound it's true. Listen, listen to my word. Tell me all the sounds you heard. E-O-K, yoke. Great work. Impressive. Now I'm going to use the sounds I've been learning to write some words and write a complete sentence. When I write a sentence, I start over here and I go this way. All right, let's go ahead and listen to our sentence. I see a yak at the zoo. Let's clap each word inside the sentence. I see a yak at the zoo. Let's tap it. I see a yak at the zoo. All right. I'm going to start over here and I'm going to write my first word. And the first word is I. 
I always make my first letter in my sentence in uppercase, but I also know that my word I is always in uppercase. So that is two good reasons that I'm going to make this word start with an uppercase. I, and I is a word that just has one letter in it. I, I'm going to use cubes to put spaces between my words. I see. Ooh, I heard this at the beginning. And the E twins, E, they say the long E sound. Like they're going down the roller coaster. I see A. That is another word that just has one letter in it. I see A. All right, I'm going to use my cube to put spaces between my words. I see a yuck, yuck, yuck. I heard the y at the beginning, and I know that's the sound that goes with the letter Y. Stretch it out, yuck. I hear the short A, yuck. And the letter K is at the end. It is breaking our CK rule, but that's okay. I see a Yuck! I ran out of room, but I know I can just go shoop down to the next line. All right, I see a yak at, at, at. At, my T. T, T, at. Now I'm gonna bring my cube down to write my next word. I see a yak at, the, T-H-E, the. I see a yak at the zoo. Z I hear a z at the beginning, and I know that's the sound that goes with my Z. And the oo twins, oo, I'm telling they say, that's the two O's together saying oo. I see a yak at the zoo. What do I need to put at the end of my sentence? I always need to put a period. If you already knew that, thumbs up. That's impressive. I see a yak at the zoo, period. The period at the end of my sentence tells me to stop. Thumbs up. Fabulous work writing a complete sentence listening for your sounds inside of words, and also learning all about the different animal sounds that are all around us. I'll see you next time when I teach to your super learning powers, one child at a time. I see a yak at the zoo. Now that we're back at the learning lab, I need some help writing some first words. Do you think you can help me out? Thumbs up. All right, my first word is yes. Let's listen to the sounds in our words. Yes, yes. I heard the ye, ye, ye at the beginning and I know that's the sound that goes with the letter Y. So I'm going to go ahead and write a Y in my first box. There we go. Now stretch it out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I heard the short E in the middle. Excellent work. Yes. I hear this in the last box, and I know that's the sound that goes with the letter S. Amazing. Let's get out our reading fingers. Yes. Yes, let's go ahead and try another word. My next word is yep, yep, yep. I heard a yep at the beginning, and again, I know that's the sound that goes with the letter Y. A lot of times you might hear someone say yep, but that is actually adding a U to the Y sound, and we want to be very, very careful. All right. Yeah, 
Ooh, I heard the short E. Very good. I'm going to write an E in that middle box. Yup. Thumbs up. Did you hear the p? I heard that too. And I know that's the sound that goes with the letter P. So I'm going to put a P in my last box. All right, get out your reading finger. Yep. Blend it. Yep. Great work. Let's go ahead and try another one. Now, this one is a little tricky, but I think we can get it. The word is days. D A Z. Days. As in, she was so tired from a busy day, she was in a daze. Let's go ahead and listen to the sounds in this word. D, d, d. Ooh, I heard a d at the beginning, and that's the sound that goes with the letter D. So I'm going to put a D in the first box. Now stretch it out. D A A A A A S. Ooh, I heard a long A. So I'm going to put a long A in the next box. Hmm. I wonder if that means I have maybe a magic letter at the end that's being very quiet. Let's wait and find out. D A Z. Ooh, that's the sound that goes with the letter Z. And I know that is a very special letter. This is the first time I'm spelling it with it not being at the beginning. That's really, really amazing. I'm going to write the Z in the next box. Now, I know that my A is saying it's long sound. That means that I'm going to have to put the magic E at the end, very quiet. And the magic E is sprinkling the magic fairy dust onto the vowel to unlock its superpowers, to say its own name. All right, reading fingers out. D A Z. Days. My word is zest. Z -e -s -t. Zest. I have four sounds inside my word zest. I heard a z at the beginning. Let's go ahead and write the z because I know that's the letter that goes with the z sound. Now stretch it out so I can hear that middle sound. Z -e 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 Ooh, I heard the eh, and I know that's the sound that goes with the letter E. So I'm going to write an E in the next box. Now let's listen very carefully. I have some sticky consonants. Z, E, S, T. Ooh, the st. There are saying stir. Z, E, S. I hear the sound that goes with the S, but I hear a T at the end. That's because my consonants are stuck together. They are sticky consonants. Very good. Let's get out our reading finger. Z, E, S, T. Blend it, zest. Thumbs up. I've had so much fun today listening to our sounds and also talking all about our habitats for our animals. I'll see you next time when I teach to your super learning powers, one child at a time.